Hello, I greet you with peace. This is Jack Lukman. Today's business idea is about leveraging Zoom. I'm sure you've heard of a Zoom, uh, the online platform for meetings, etc. Let's consider some scenarios. Scenario one. Have you heard about Zoom? Have you seen their various price plans? Are you a small business? Are you an individual that has occasional events? Would you like to use Zoom? That's the Zoom platform. Does it make an economical sense for just a few events annually? That's scenario one. Now let's look at scenario two. Are you unemployed or seeking a side hustle? Do you have an entrepreneurial mind? Do you seek opportunity? Could you leverage it when it comes? Are you reliable? Are you dependable? Are you results oriented? Do you wish to make money? Are you organized? Do you have basic technical skills? Do you have a digital, digital gadget and a reliable internet connection? And are you willing to invest in yourself? Now let's look at the final scenario, scenario, scenario three. Let us merge scenarios one and two above. You could purchase a Zoom package for a year or thereabouts. You must have done your market research first to ensure that your business proposition is viable. Now, you could actually rent out that service. You could have your price plan. This shall this shall factor in the time of the day and week. For example, somebody wants to, you to anchor an event at 6 a.m. He's probably going to pay more than somebody's going to have it at noon, etc. Or somebody wants to have an event over the weekend. Maybe that will be more expensive than during the week, etc. And it also depends on the number of attendees and then any other metrics that you might think about. Of course, you have to create terms and conditions, and those shall apply. Your pricing shall be reasonable and competitive. Like I said, what you're going to be doing as a business is you rent a, you have a Zoom package, and then you retail it, more or less. That's it in summary. Now, there are some add-on services or upsells that you could include. This could include being the anchor or MC of the meeting. It could also include streaming services to social media. It could include social media management, event planning and brainstorming. It could include training of staff. Maybe if, they, if your service is too expensive for them, you could train staff. You could contact the guests and follow up with them as necessary. Using Eventbrite to manage the guest list, that could also be offered as a service, etc. If the business model works, then you should be thinking of scaling it. You know, if, if you are doing very well in the business, you might expand your business maybe get staff, etc., and take it to the next level. You could also invest in training and development so that you could discharge your duties professionally or more professionally, as well as be ahead of the competition. Now there's a sm small disclaimer. Check Zoom's terms and conditions so that you're not in breach of it. And then, of course, do your due diligence to make sure that you don't get into any trouble. Uh, there's no guarantees in business. You know, it's um, you try and uh, you execute, but you have to do your due diligence to make sure that even though it's a risk, it's a calculated risk. 
So in summary, you shall buy Zoom in bulk, quote unquote, and then you shall retail it to your, to your clients. I hope that you got value. If so, please like, share, and subscribe. This is Jack Lukman. Ireo, I wish you blessings.